Hi guys and welcome to today's video on compound interest investments with regular additions to the principal in brackets annuity investment. Whoa, could that title be any longer? Well, yes, probably it could, but let's hopefully make sure that it isn't. What is this all about? Well, it's part of the further maths course and the financial section of this course, and it has been awesome. There are a number of videos that I've recorded before this, and if you haven't already watched them, can I suggest going back? This build video builds on all of that information. Uh, alternatively, stay and watch it. You may know all the rest of that stuff and just interested to see what this video is about. Um, my name's Darren, otherwise known as Mass Guru, and it's so, so good to have you here. Can you do me a favor? I'm just one person sitting in a room uh, recording all of these videos, uh, hopefully for you guys to make sense of the Mass course. Over in the corner there is a doohickey that you can click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribers mean the world to me. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand. Very few people watch Mass videos, and so this is quite challenging, and your help would be greatly appreciated. Now, uh, I want to be rich. Do you want to be rich? Of course you do. Do you want to be a millionaire? Well, actually, I'm about to show you how to become a millionaire. And it's ridiculously simple, he says, sort of. Uh, but before we do that, what on earth is this video all about? Well, by the end of the video, I'm going to hopefully show you how to use your CAS calculator and the financial solver to do all of this funky stuff to become that millionaire. Uh, but to be able to extract information from questions um, and allow you to sort of yeah, get rich or, or help other people get rich. Now, generally speaking, uh, each month I have a pension and I pay money into my pension scheme and it gets bigger and bigger. It gets bigger and bigger because the government are paying me interest and each month I keep adding a little bit more. So I'm getting richer faster by making these additional payments. And that's very much what this video is about. We've dealt with the idea previously of reducing balanced loans. Uh, that's where we, you know, obviously we've taken money from the bank and we pay it back in stages. We've looked at interest only loans where we just pay the interest off and under the principal. Bad, 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 bad. We've looked at annuities where we pay a load of money into a bank account and effectively keep taking the money out until it all disappears. And the idea in the last video of perpetuities where basically we just live off the interest of money. Um, but oh, I don't know, I want to get rich. And so ladies and gentlemen, we can use a wonderful thing known as an amortization table. And you're going to say, what on earth is an amortization table? And I'm going to say to you, well, you've already covered it in the video on annuities. Have you watched it? Yes. Marvelous. Amortization tables are just a way of visually seeing how when you pay money in and interest, how it actually grows payment by payment by payment. Now that might be month by month by month or by year by year by year. Okay, so the horrible thing about amortization tables, I'm so sorry, is that math teachers like me love them because we actually put them in exams and sacks and all sorts of stuff and we miss some values out and ask you to find missing values. Now, if you don't understand what an amortization table is, then sadly, you're not going to be able to do it because, yeah, we're testing your understanding, not whether you can regurgitate a load of maths. So behind me, ladies and gentlemen, is an Excel document that I've actually created some amortization tables. And you'll notice the one at the top is the one I used in my annuities. And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, who wants to be a millionaire? I do. I do. Bit of a joke. Uh, if you're a musical theatre lover. So uh, what is this all about? Well, when you have an amortization table, there's certain columns that are so, so important. What I've done there is highlighted. In this situation, we've got age, because I want to see when I'm going to be rich. I've got payment received. This whole video is about paying money in and getting richer quicker. So this payment's important. Hopefully, with everything we do, if we're going into a bank, they're going to give us interest. They're going to pay us uh, for the privilege of actually having our money. Interest is good, unless it's on a mortgage. Principal growth. Now, this is the one that many times we'll put in an exam and ask you to fill in. Because if you understand what it means by principal growth, then, then that's freaking awesome. But principal growth is basically how much has my principal grown by, either by me paying it in or by having some interest or both. And finally, the balance of the account. So there we go. Age 18, ladies and gentlemen, I'm highlighting a column behind me that basically is saying, well, at the age of 18, open an account with $6,000. That's it. Just open an account, put $6,000 in it. Next year, what I want you to do is I want you to make a one-off payment of $6,000. Now, that seems a lot, but if you save it up and then transfer it into this savings account, $6,000, that's it, nothing more done. Now, hopefully, if you've got a good interest rate, and I've set one over here, uh, interest rate of 6%, good luck finding 6% in Australia at the moment, but if you can find one at 6%, then what it does is it multiplies 6,000 by six on 100, 
and that gave me $360 of interest. Now, again, that value there, where did that $6,360 come from? Well, it's our principal growth. How much is our money gonna grow by at the end? Well, I've put $6,000 in, the bank's gonna give me $360, and so there we go, $6,360, which when I add to my original value of $6,000, gives me $12,360. And guess what you're gonna do in the next year when you're 20? You're gonna pay in another $6,000. Get out there, get a job, save it up, put it in there. Now don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mascara.com. Yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.